Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna analyze here the breakout to the downside from this rising wedge on the Bitcoin price and later on we're also gonna have a look on the DXY, Ethereum and also Chainlink once we're gonna reach the daily time frame. But now let's start here in the one hour here on Bitcoin because currently we had here this breakout, we lost here this 11,680 support and currently we are seeing a little sell off. The good thing is that currently we created a higher low which is in theory a bullish thing also we bounced currently from this $11,500 area and it also looks like that the lower time frames are getting into oversold condition. So I'm expecting here a possible bounce to the upside to possibly retest now the new resistance of around 11,700. It is also possible that we will go all the way up here towards 12K to retest it and then hopefully also start to take out these highs that we had here at $12,500. So that means if we're not able to go up again towards $12,500 and create higher highs, then we could see a potential trend reversal that will potentially take us down towards our bearish target of around $9,600. So where also the CME gap is lining up. So what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours, maybe at the beginning of this coming week, because right now we are during the weekend, we have the CMEs closed currently. So the CME is closed at $11,600. And in my opinion, most likely we're going to stay in this area. If we're having a big bounce to the upside or a big dump, then we're going to create a new future gap on Monday but that's why I still think that most likely we're gonna stay in this region or maybe potentially go up here to retest this new resistance towards $12,000 and also here in the one hour you can see that after being completely oversold here in the RSI we bounce again to the upside and currently we are trading above the 20 moving average which is a very good sign at least here for a short lift bounce if you're not able to create higher highs right now so my target for this possible bounce here is towards 12k at least eleven thousand eight hundred dollar but potentially even up here towards 12k to retest it if we have enough power to go up there the problem is that currently we're right at the 50 here in the one hour time frame so we have to see if we can keep up with the 20 moving average if we are getting rejected here and the 20 moving average continue to be the new resistance then we should expect the price to drop lower towards 11,400 to 11,000 again but currently it looks like that we're gearing up for a possible move to the upside although if you have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're fighting with the last moving average if we're able to close in a one hour candle above $11,600 then we're trading here in the upper area between 11,600 and 11,800 so in that case we will see here a possible push to the upside pretty soon although stochastic is shifted to the upside is coming here into overbought condition but we can stay here in this area for quite some time MACD is still flat here and if we switch over into the four hour here you can see that the 20 moving average right now is at the hour previous support at 11,730 and now potentially also our new resistance line so let's see what happens once the price is going to retest this area here i think it is very likely that we will go up here to retest the new resistance potentially even overshoot it to the upside to retest this 12k area as you can see also my own indicator is coming into very oversold condition so here i'm just waiting for a buy signal to start to open up a long position so i will play this long this potential bounce here to the upside and then close it most likely towards 12k if we are not able to take out this high that we had here at $12,500. We have also the RSI currently still in oversold condition. We are bouncing right now to the upside, but we also have to see what will happen once we're gonna retest the 50 level in the RSI. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that here we're still trading on the bearish side. So here we have still our two moving averages here between 11,670 and 11,740 acting as a resistance. So as long as we are not closing a four hour candle above these two moving averages, we are still trading here on the bearish side and the bottom currently is still at $11,500. And also here you see that the stochastic had a bullish cross here after being oversold. So here also we could be gearing up here for a potential move towards this 12,000 
dollar top that we also have here in the Bollinger Band in the four hour. And that's why I gonna play this long position here once my own indicator is hitting a buy signal. And if you also want to get this buy and sell signal from my own indicator, then make sure that you sign up to the Discord trading chat. I give these trading signals completely for free here over on Discord. So make sure to tune in in our Discord trading chat. The link is down below here in the video description. And now let's open up the daily time frame. Because here, as you can see, we had yesterday a close below the 20 daily moving average. We had also a sell signal over here. And currently we are fighting here with the 20 daily moving average. It is possible that we will see today another push here towards 12K. But as long as we're closing daily candles below 11,560, so below the 20 daily moving average, things could look like that we could see a big trend reversal here towards our target down here of around $9,600, also where the CMEs are lining up down here. And here in the CME chart, you can see that currently we didn't close below the 20 daily moving average because here on the CMEs, the 20 daily is at 11,450. And so far here on the CMEs, we didn't reach this price level. So the CMEs are still looking a bit more bullish, even though we had here the breakout to the downside from this rising wedge. And in theory, right now, the target would be down at our levels here of around $9,600 so our bearish targets. And if we open up the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that currently we are still trading in the lower area. So we are trading between $11,700 and $11,200. We had the stochastic here in oversold condition. So in theory, we could see a big bounce to the upside to at least retest $11,700 to $11,830. The thing is that the MACD still shifted to the downside. So even though we could see a bounce here towards these targets, if you're not able to take out the highs here at $12,500 with the next move, then I think we will see a potential bigger correction incoming pretty soon. But of course, on the way down there, we will have also lots of bounces to the upside as well. So we will not go straight down to fill the gap at $9,600. On the way down there, we're gonna have always some bounces, especially on the big supports like we had here at $11,500. The next would be at $10,500. And if you're seeing that the next push to the upside is going to get rejected at $11,800 or $12,000, then don't forget that you can trade this with a short. You can also gain a lot of money during a downtrend and you can trade this, for example, here on Bybit, Femex or Bityard. If you need an account over there with my links down below here, you can get a total bonus of $428. So make sure that you're using my link that you find down below here in the video description. On Bybit currently it's $90, on Femex $80 and on BTR $258. On BTR you can trade with Tether. So if you have some Tether on the sideline here, you can trade all the coins you want, even gold or oil with your Tether. And now let's open up the weekly time frame because here you see the most important time frame. And here are also the targets in case of a major drop because you can see here the 20 weekly moving average here at around $9,700. This is my target also to rebuy all the profits that I took out up here because Bitcoin usually likes to test the 20 weekly moving average also during an uptrend. So even if we crash down towards this $9,700 area, then we would still remain in our bullish way towards new all time highs. So even if we see a bigger correction, take it as an opportunity to go long or buy some cheap altcoin and Bitcoin, because this might be the last opportunity to scale in into some alts that you want. And of course, also to stack up your Bitcoin portfolio. The problem here on the weekly is only that currently the RSI is quite overbought. So that's why I'm still expecting a major correction down to these levels. And hopefully also we're going to see a big bounce from the 20 weekly moving average, which is also coinciding with our previous resistance, which right now should be acting as a support. And now let's switch over into the Bollinger Band because here also you see that after completely overshooting it to the upside, we are starting to retrace back here into the moving averages. 
So the target here is, as I told you, between $10,500 down here to $9,400. So between these two moving averages, I think as soon as the CME gap is filled at $9,600, we should be good to go to go all in again back into Bitcoin and altcoin because there is where we should see a big bounce and start again to fight here this 12k resistance we have here stochastic with a bearish cross right now also macd is looking toppy here if we continue to trade like this so also here the indicators are screaming for a bigger correction and also my own indicator is showing that we are getting in quite overbought condition and the last time we were up there it was here when we topped out at 14,000 and started the big correction to the downside so we could see a, a similar thing like we had over here but if we cool off here i think we will not go lower most likely than this uh, $9,500 area. This is at least where I'm gonna scale in all the profits that I took out here in this region. And now let's have a look here into the US dollar index because here we are seeing exactly the opposite from Bitcoin. So here currently in the daily, I'm getting a buy signal. We also had your falling wedge, which now is breaking out to the upside. Currently we got rejected from the 20 daily moving average here, but it is very likely that we will continue to push through here since we had here a buy signal we were completely oversold and right now we still have a lot of room left to the upside so it is possible that we're even going up here to test the 50 or 200 moving average here in the US dollar index and this could lead into a big correction also in the stock market and also into the crypto space and if we switch over back into Bitcoin you can see that here we had the opposite we had here a sell signal and also we had a rising wedge which is starting now to break out to the downside exactly the opposite from the US dollar index and that's why I'm still expecting this to continue most likely at least for the short to mid term so we could see a possible bounce in the US dollar index before the US dollar continues to plunge here into the abyss where most likely it's heading and now we can have also look into ethereum because ethereum also broke down here from this rising wedge that we had here currently we are also getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average here my targets are to retest here this 300 dollar even down to 250 dollar area so the previous resistance which right now should be acting as a new support so the profits that i took up here i definitely gonna scale in down towards 300 to 250 dollar this is my target to rebuy back into ethereum and if we go over to Chainlink, because Chainlink reached already our targets here of the 20 daily moving average, as you can see. But yesterday also we closed below the 20 daily. So I think most likely also Chainlink will follow Ethereum, Bitcoin and the rest of the coins. So I don't think that Chainlink here is going to outperform or do exactly the opposite. Most likely also Chainlink will continue to plunge here if Bitcoin and Ethereum also continues to correct towards our bearish target. Target. And the target for chain link here, if we continue to drop here, is definitely here this previous important support resistance here at around $8.50 and of course the 200 daily moving average here at $5.40. So I definitely would start to scale in Chainlink at these price levels if you're interested in buying Chainlink and if you think that we will come up again towards $20 and most likely also break it to the upside, then this is the perfect entry for you if you want to buy also some Chainlink. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget to participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin weekly giveaway. Today we're gonna select the winner, so you still have time to participate on the giveaway. Make sure to leave your Bitcoin address and the comment in the video that is popping up at the end of this video. And of course, next Monday we're gonna do the new subscription video for next week's giveaway. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Moon up the likes, subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.